Welcome to the Aesthetics Injector Gang Podcast. Having a gang of mentors in this industry has been a blessing that we wanted to share with you. Our core group has been traveling together and comparing notes about life and business for years. Tune in as we delve into topics with others in the industry that you are sure to love and make you laugh. Welcome guys to another episode of the Aesthetics Injector podcast. Inje- yeah, Aesthetics <laughs> Injector podcast. Tell me it's been a long time without telling me. <laughs> and to add another layer onto the fun, you guys resoundedly wanted video. So you're getting us, this is our first one. It's already <laughs> taken us about 14 minutes to try to get ourselves situated. <laughs> So before we even talk about anything of real substance, let's talk about what our device is stacked on to get video. <laughs> because I know I am in like basically the floor of my office with stuff I need to pack and all kinds of shit. Can I just and say I'm, that I love that you're on the floor of your office when you work virtually 50% of the time and you okay, have a well, perfect setup for background. Zoom? It's like I did my wall kind of cute. So like... I want to figure out how I need to sit here without my computer being three miles away, but it's currently on an ottoman and a plastic container from Ikea. So that's what I'm okay. rolling with. Ashley, what about what? you? Uh, well, I think I might have you beat on the creativity scale here. I am on a stack of protein shakes. Uh, would love a sponsorship with Iconic Protein. Love it. Um, nice plant protein. Currently, you're sitting on top of a cafe latte flavor. So mm-hmm. a little bit of caffeine as well. I also have an empty Amazon box because, you know, small business life Um, and a couple slices of bread and another protein shake. And that's what we have here. (laughs) And Brandy looks like the most proper of us all. So, Brandy, what are you rolling with? (laughs) Oh, so I currently have a actually a book, a Jodi Picoult book. My iPad on top of that, and the iPad is leaning against another monitor, which I don't know why I didn't actually just use that monitor. Why did I use a monitor? Why did I use my phone when the monitor is here? That's a whole nother besides the point. And then the phone is propped up against the iPad (laughs) and the monitor. Why I didn't use the iPad or the monitor and I chose the phone, we're working with it. (laughs) I mean, the phones are the easiest. That's where my whole life lives. So yeah. Yeah, I like my yeah. MacBooks. So we're all kind of different, but you know what? We all kind of decided this last minute, but everybody said they wanted to see us. So I didn't want to have it staged. I kind of like, I'm literally in my pajamas. Brandy is just, uh, she looks great no matter what. And seriously, Ashley I know. Has, like yoga, but cute because she's wrapped up in, a, in something else. So, so we all know, literally just ran in and here we are. This is life. And just for context, whenever this gets published, you know, it's Sunday night at six o'clock Eastern. So it's at the end it of is. our weekend, boo, you know, getting know. In. but we wanted to kind of do just a couple little shorts because, you know, we're still trying to figure this out just like you guys are. Thank you for the support. We really yes. appreciate the feedback, the the DMs that we get, the the recognition in person is what I think I'm most surprised. I don't know about you guys, but like, um, you know, going to Aesthetic Next uh, a couple months ago, well, last month now, feels like forever. But, um, you know, that was really eye opening. People were like, oh, my God, I heard you on the podcast. I'm like, yeah. really? You did? I know. I hear that every once in a while. Well, I mean, I hear it quite a good bit, but I am always so just kind of taken aback by it. So I really love it. I think it's, you know, we kind of started this just to be like a little bit of a passion project. Brandy, remember when we like thought of the idea, we were sitting around the pool in Dallas, right? Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. she's like, I think I want to do a podcast, guys. What do you think? And we were like, okay. (laughs) Why not? Um, Does anybody know how to do that? (laughs) Well, because all these things happen as, especially as entrepreneurs, like, why not? Why not? Why don't we add more to the plate? It's not Let's already, add more. Ten, yeah. it's not already a Thanksgiving plate that has like food on top of food. I was going to use the same analogy. <laughs> Let's just throw more. Let's add more. more gravy on it. Let's Put the dessert on top. Oh, in that plate. Hey, guys, you didn't tell me my, my zipper was unzipped. <laughs> I can't see oh. your zipper. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm like trying not to stare at your boobs and look at the camera like I just told you guys about five minutes ago. But oh, yeah. Well, like I shouldn't well, be. 
Well, I so for the first part, my button was undone. I didn't. I wasn't looking at the camera because I was looking where you told me. Look at the green dot. Oh yeah, and so, I keep forgetting uh, the green dot. Everybody's gonna think <laughs> I'm a little bit silly tonight because I'm not looking at the green dot at all. But it's too distracting. It's very distracting. That's okay. So it's is our my, ADD. That's right. Mm, true. So cheers, guys. We've gone nowhere so far. Cheers. I yeah. <laughs> still support beverages. <laughs> But coffee from this morning still. Okay. <laughs> as, as it should be. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so it's been a minute since we got together. Um, you know, we're kind of mentally regrouping as far as mm -hmm. what the podcast will look like and how it's most uh, beneficial yeah. to you guys too. So, um, you know, we're still strategizing about that. But before the end of the year, we kind of just wanted to do something a little casual, play with video, see what goes on. Um, but you know, I think while I have the opportunity to have these two lovely business owners <laughs> on by themselves, you know, it, there's been a lot of, a lot of life going on in the mm -hmm. past months since we recorded, um, you know, things happening in the industry, good things happening to us personally, bad things happening mm -hmm. to us personally, growth opportunities happening, of course, but you know, before we get into the holidays and stuff, let's just talk a little bit about some things that have happened recently. And I know probably the, the biggest event in my mind, at least, was um, your foundation gala event, Brandy. Yes. So about that, because it was amazing. So yeah. fun. So amazing. So tell us yeah. about it. Like, did it meet your expectations? How much fun did you have? Well, I know how much fun you had because I saw you, but yeah. I mean, like... <laughs> How do you feel the first one went? Let's go there. So I feel like the first one was kind of like a wedding, right? You go, you Always. plan, you do all of this, you know, all this planning, all these details, mm -hmm. and then you get there. And you're like, oh, great, we're here. And you just hope people show up, kind of like anything else, right? When you're planning something, you're like, Okay, well, this many people say they're going to show. Are we going to walk into an empty room? That's always, a, I don't know why. It's kind of like, it's kind of like walking on stage naked, that weird fear, too. You're like, oh, my twinny. Hi, twinny. I um, left out, guys. Oh, ready. ready. Just spot on the podcast. It's about time, actually. Let's see yeah. all that. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we were just, you know, that was like my initial fears. And then, you know, it was so well supported by so many yeah. people in the industry. Both our sponsors were super supportive and all the people are there. The Colt gang was there, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, it was just an awesome event. It was, I felt that going into it, that it was going to be the hardest part was, oh, get through, you know, this gala. But now what I realized, which I think Ash and I kind of touched points mm -hmm. on in the previous episode, which is, okay, now you're there. Now what? Now you have to do it again. <laughs> now you have to do it again. <laughs> and how do you keep up that momentum? Because after it, I was just like, this was so much fun. It was a great time. Um, we raised, you know, it, it exceeded my expectations because really Good. my expectations were, you know, I just really wanted to get the name out there, get the yeah. cause out there. And that was just really goal one. And mm -hmm. we did raise money to be able to now start providing care to domestic violence survivors. I love that. And so that exceeded my expectations. But now comes the real work, which is getting doing it again, too, and doing <laughs> it again. But also creating all those systems and and mm -hmm. everything for you know for us to be providing care and and then expanding it out. So it was mm -hmm. awesome, a very humbling and a humbling experience to learn from. Though mm -hmm. I think my biggest lesson is that it's easier to build a business than it is a nonprofit. Yes. It's easier to get funding for a business, whether it's through banking or mm -hmm. whatever. But for a nonprofit, you have to be very humbled. Absolutely. And I think that you did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. The turnout was great. The venue was perfection. And it definitely leaves you ample room to grow for next year. So I hope you already have yeah. the dates carved out. <laughs> right. He's, like, quick one, remind um, <laughs> He's like, quick, quick reminder, reminder, we all back out a year. <laughs> I know. Um, Gina, our our president, she did such a phenomenal job mm -hmm. really planning, you know, doing a lot of planning. She did great. And the entire she did so amazing and the entire board. I think everybody just after that were like, Okay, let's take a month to regroup mm -hmm. and then we re we're gonna regroup this week. Because then it was patient appreciation and then our biggest event of the year, which I mean, it was the gala for the nonprofit yeah. and then a month later was patient appreciation, which is another huge event that yeah. Gina had to you know, manage and I still so, cannot believe you did them both like back to back essentially. Like that's crazy. 
That was not the best life decision, (laughs) but why not? (laughs) Sometimes it looks good on paper. (laughs) Yeah. You got to do it. And how was your patient appreciation? Oh, that was awesome. That's awesome every year. It's our favorite event to do. Um, uh, It's one of my favorite events is to come to it. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. And this time we actually, you know, we did it off, um, off-site mm-hmm. at a really cool venue that we were able to really, because every year we take from our patients kind of mm-hmm. what did you like, what did you not like? And then even from the staff, because the staff works so hard at Mentino, you know, all the Mentino yeah. staff, they put so much into it. And it's a very tiring um, yeah. day. And so we get all the, you know, and each year it's gotten better and better and better from that input. And so this year was definitely my opinion, one of the best ones that we've done yeah. and our patients love it. So I, I just, it was interesting because we switched things up this year. Normally yeah. we do it Saturday mornings or like afternoons this year we did on a Friday evening. Okay. And I was a little nervous about that, but some of the, some of the feedback was a lot of the moms who had their kids in sports, they may not be able to attend on a Saturday mm-hmm. afternoon because they're in sports. Yeah. Well, this time we kind of shifted it to more of like a, Hey, come have a cocktail or, you know, a glass of wine and let that be like the pre to your girl's night out or mother, daughter night out. And um, I love that. It turned, yeah. It was cute. I love it was that. fun. With a lot of mother daughters there, which was super Good. cute. Yeah. And groups of girlfriends. Yeah. It's always my favorite. Like we do our patient appreciation. Usually it's like the first or second weekend of December, but you know, Thanksgiving's so late this year. And so like Thanksgiving weekend rolls into like the first day back at work, like that Monday, I think it's like December 2nd. So we lose like a whole weekend in December where you're like, Oh, I don't really have that to lose. Like, so I don't really know what we're going to do because that next weekend, um, you know, Brandon's going to New York and the weekend after that is my birthday and then it's Christmas. And so you're kind of like, uh, I know. So I'm like trying to find like a really like creative night to do patient appreciation. Cause we've historically done it like on a Sunday evening, which most people have really liked. Um, mm-hmm. I think last year we did on a Saturday, didn't we? We did, uh, no, I think we did a Sunday still. Was uh, it a Sunday still? Yeah. Yeah. So like, I don't know. Winter, We've always it always liked feels it. like, you know, because it's dark at four o'clock that it is the evening, but no, we did Sunday. I know. You can tell I'm sitting out here trying to catch the last few moments of like Northern Virginia bliss. Um, it was like 83 and sunny today and tomorrow the high is 60. So I'm like, I'm just going to be outside all day as much as I can be. And hopefully have enough solar power to get through until March <laughs> of the past. All you can do. All well, we can do. Speaking of the holidays, I feel like I know that my gears are turning, and I'm sure that yours are mm-hmm. too, Ms. Mm-hmm. Ashley, about they are. days of Ayana deals, because that is something that you've been doing since inception. Yes. This year will be no exception. It will so, not be. It is my favorite thing to do. It is. And I know that you like, are, you're always like every year, you're like, can we please just release it at the beginning of like day one? I'm like, no, we're doing it every single day. So if you guys listening have not like participated in 12 days of Ayana before we run from midnight to midnight, a different day, a different deal every day. And it's the only time of the year that I ever do sales and promos of any kind. Um, so you have 12 days to like kind of cash in on all of your favorite things. And I don't know, it's always super fun. And we get such great feedback from patients who like love it. Like they're literally sitting and like waiting for their emails at 1201, like waiting to see what the deal is going to be for the next day. And I think it creates like such an excitement when I think that a majority of us are feeling very burnt out going into the holidays and you're like, Oh gosh, did I like check this off and check that off? And Oh my gosh, the cookie tray here. And wait, how many people are coming to dinner? Wait, do we have plane tickets to go somewhere? And I think everybody just is kind of like in that like holiday rush. And I think it just gives our patients like a second to kind of slow down and be like, no, like I still matter. And it's still like, I don't have to just be everything for everybody else. And like, I still get to have just a few minutes of peace for myself. And so if that means that they're reading an email and participating in something that they maybe wouldn't be able to do the rest of the year, I'm here for it. So it's a very exhausting 12 days, but I love it. It's super exhausting. I can attest to it. The only yeah. reason that I try to challenge you with some aspects of it, I love the creativity and everything, mm-hmm. but 
the predictability factor is going up exponentially every year. I know. Year. I think they're so, going to be surprised this year, though. I think I'm we're going to. I think we're going to really surprise them this year. So we'll good. see. Yeah, I am because literally people like they're making sly comments. Like it's not even I like know. you know they're just walking out and being like, "Hey, just waiting for the twelve days." They're like texting, <laughs> like, "When are you guys starting twelve days for talk?" <laughs> And I'm like, no, no, like if talks will be on the floor, you silly goose, get out of here. I know. And you know, what's so <laughs> funny tree. is get out of I, here. <laughs> it's so funny too. Cause I actually tried to like go in on the Ayana Atelier Instagram and like delete the 12, the previous 12 days. I remember like three years ago when you were like, do you want to archive them? I'm like, no, just leave them. And now I like, can't figure out how to archive them. <laughs> like it won't let me. I think they're out there for forever. Oh, no. Yeah. I up and clean my posts every once in a while. I, like, I tried to, it. like, hide them or something, and it, I the grid got all off, and I was like, okay, forget it. Oh, it's it. going to F up your grid for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. I figured, like, 12 days. It should be, like, just four rows, and it's a clean cut, but didn't work out that way. So I was like, oh, forget it. Just leave it. Cut something I posted. It'll be fine. It'll even <laughs> out. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's our excitement coming up. Um, yeah. Everything life-wise is going... Peachy King. I don't know. Nothing to report on life. You saw Renegade. He's living his best life per usual. Absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Ayana. I know. Aww. Everybody's like, oh, he's the mayor of Old Town. I'm like, he really kind of is. He's so cute. I'm, I'm very partial, but. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a scare. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. Just like, just like that much. <laughs> yeah. Now, Brandy, do you have anything specific for the holidays or has it been something consistent or because your patient appreciation mm -hmm. is very close? Like, do you feel like people like blow their load now or are they like still ready for a holiday sale? So to every year with the patient appreciation, that's kind of like our big one because yeah. we do the same. We're not big on um you know, we don't do sales and things throughout the throughout the year. We have every month we have something that's just like a you know a featured service, a featured product, and then our patient appreciation is the mm -hmm. big thing. Um, so around the holidays, we'll do other things, but it's more so just things that we're bundling together and everything of that nature because we want things that people can have like for like stocking stuffy stuffers and things mm -hmm. that make our patients' lives a lot easier. And then we do little special ones here and there. Mm -hmm. um, but we make sure that every year it's a little bit different. So nobody really knows what to expect. We always want just like a little something extra special. So we always do something extra special. And I haven't figured out exactly what that is this year. Um, now it's that so I have hard. patient appreciation, yeah. I'm like, I can now think yeah. what that's going to look like. But it's so hard because you always want it to be extra special. And, you know, you want to make sure that you're, you know, I don't know, you're not repeating. And after, you know, mint needle's been open for five yeah. years. So yeah. now I'm like, okay, what's well, something different? Because you always want yeah. something different and new and fresh. Yeah, we actually have a survey going out um, this week to like our VIP list patients. So like our members, right? Uh, we have an email going out to them. So we're like, what do you guys want? Like, I don't have, out of ideas. Like, there's only so many different ways that I can do like promos and exciting new things. And you know, because I have like a smaller list of services and I don't do lasers and, you know, so it's like, it's always trying to like make the best of what we have and trying to come up with like 12 amazing ideas to do so. So, yeah, it does get mm -hmm. challenging because it's like mm -hmm. eventually you can't like, I mean, you can't be like, here's like half a temple and right. here's uh, By one side, get the other here, side free. Like, <laughs> is this a great package? I don't know. Or is it just getting weird? Like yeah. sometimes... Yeah. You know, we don't need to, to complicate a glass of water, but it's fun because I think it allows for a really good opportunity for some people to especially try like an add on service that they yeah. may, may not have like felt comfortable or maybe the price point was a little too high or maybe they just didn't understand mm -hmm. but, like mm -hmm. some of the fun stuff that Ashley's done around the holidays, I think really helps to kind of not only educate, but mm -hmm. it does help to kind of just broaden somebody's little portfolio of treatment that they're doing. Mm hmm. Yeah, we did hear really good feedback last year about that, where it was like, oh, I wouldn't have thought about, you know, I never was interested in X, Y, Z. And then, I don't know, it seems like such a good deal. So I went ahead and did it. And then now they like have loved it, you know? So I think there's yeah. always like the opportunity for some surprises here and there. So 
Well, because we also, I think like you are actually, you were saying earlier about how we get so caught up in the holiday season mm-hmm. of like taking care of everybody else. I think it's yeah. super important for us to all step back and be like, I also have to take care of myself, my yeah. mental health, my physical yeah. health, my, mm-hmm. um, you know, my, and look at it and be like, okay, maybe it's just getting myself a little something, you know, my little Christmas mm-hmm. gift to myself. Exactly. We should all give ourselves a little something. Yeah. Well, and you know, we never really hear the, the comment. I'm sure you hear it all the time too. My husband never knows what to get me. So I just like forward him the email and hope for the best. And so we get a lot of like surprise goodies that way, because we get a lot of husbands that walk in and they're like, I have no idea what I'm doing here. This is my wife's name. Can you just tell me what she wants? I'm like, sure. (laughs) We can. I love that. I think it's the cutest when they walk in. It's really sweet. And then like, I have no idea how much this costs. And then in my head, I'm like, Ooh, do I tell him what it really costs or right. like, <laughs> exactly. or just like, or just like husband receipt costs? Like, which costs are we talking about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So ladies, if you're listening, send the podcast to your husband, tell them to fast forward all the way to minute 20 and drop a hint. So. Just drop it. And then you let us know what cost you want to say that your exactly. normal service is. Yep. <laughs> I know. It is so funny. Sometimes we're like side texting them and we're like, hey, like, <laughs> what would you like for your birthday? Wink, wink. Yeah. That is a great idea. I'm thinking maybe we should have like a separate wait list that like why <laughs> with our husband's emails and like, so yeah. we can just like email them like a special email. A little mm. special mm. format. Mm. We'll fill in the price. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You never know. Trap. Maybe that might be a good idea. We'll have to mm. think about that one. A husband special. Exactly. The husband special. Yep. Uh-huh. I love it. All so right, Brandon, guys. what's been going on in your life? Well, I was just going to tell you, so you may have said, mm-hmm. Brandon, why do you have all of these little packages around? Well, it's getting ready for the first APMG virtual assembly. Yay! Um, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, me too. It's in 10 days. Blah. So <laughs> um, lots to do, um, but no, it's all going um, as well as it's going to for now. And I'm really excited about it. There's been some great feedback. I have yeah. some great speakers and we'll see how this first one goes. And I didn't put a lot of expectations out there. I met the the amount of people. I really wanted to keep it small and intimate. Yeah. I wanted 20. I got 19. Yay. So Love that. That's good. wonderful. Um, yeah. So hopefully, you know, something good comes out of, of, of the mouths of myself and all the speakers. And mm-hmm. We'll go from there and see what happens. But it's gonna yeah. be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. I think uh, I've taken that first step and just it yep. is. And it's like when we did like process. when we did aesthetic multipliers the first year. I was like, well, here we go. Yep. <laughs> I think we're ready. That's we'll see. I'm like, yeah. oh, please let me say something intelligent. But um, oh, you always say something intelligent. Yeah. But Ugh. it's like, I just think it's in general, it's good to fail because, you know, it, so no mm-hmm. matter what, it, whether you succeed or fail, it doesn't really matter because if you succeed, yay, you learned a lesson about your success and how to make yep. it even better. If you fail, you learned a lesson about processes or a system that is yep. not going to work for you. And so then now you're going to be able to create and make and more improvement of a more improved version of what you're trying mm-hmm. to achieve or pivot into another thing. Yep. So no matter what you win. Yep. Lessons you always win. learned. Yeah. Yep. You win or yep. you win. <laughs> exactly. When are you learned? <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. So yeah, no, thanks. I'm excited. Um, I'm so excited. Yep. I already have my giant 2025 calendar that I thought was the same <laughs> one I bought last year, but it's like the size of my closet door. So oh. um, I already have, well, we have more people. Minutes. So we have more people to keep track of now. Oh, yeah. so many things. But now I've, <laughs> I've incorporated sticky notes. Don't tell Sheila. I have sticky notes oh. for like theoretical dates until I get them them hard and fast. Like the next assembly and life as I know it in 2025. But I love it. Who else has already booked out through February 2025? Me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. feel so bad. I One of my really good girlfriends asked me... Um, one of my girlfriends, Chrissy, who, yeah. um, you, you, we love you Chrissy. Both know. We, we love, love Chrissy. Chrissy. Yeah. She's awesome. And so she was like, Oh, let's plan a girl, a weekend. So we're going through after the patient appreciation. We're yeah. going through, and I was like, mm-hmm. February 14th weekend. <laughs> Valentine's weekend. Yep. yep. Yeah. 
That was the next free one. Love that. Well, we will all be occupied because, you know, we all have birthdays and anniversaries and such to celebrate in that week. And I don't know why we all ended up with people with February birthdays, but here we are. Speaking of which, we all need to get something on. We have to look into Q1 and get things on the books because we're already booking out most of Q1 stuff. Yes. Well, Brandon's birthday is the big one this year. So Brandon's turning 30. So Mm -hmm. celebrate. Keep doing that 30. Yep. We keep also, repeating 30. I've also enrolled in basic arithmetic online, but that doesn't start in <laughs> January. But we're going to talk about uh, 2025 on the next episode. So mm. let's wrap this one up so that we can go smooch on some significant others. I um, love that. Mine just went out to do the uh, trash collection at the office. Oh, so. thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Yay, now I won't walk into a ton of boxes on Tuesday. Yay! Yeah, well, there's some filled ones. <laughs> oh, yay. On that note, all right, guys. Well, you know how to get a hold of us, but thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Aesthetics Injector Gang podcast, and we will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good one. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and comment. Follow us on Instagram at The Aesthetics Injector Gang.